attribute manipulator. So I showed a bit of this in the uh, design room before. They let me out of the survey room to come in here and play, so that was good. Uh, yeah, I can see. Yep. Um, I don't have to look at the screen like I do in training. I can look here. So, wow, that's not what that looks like there. Okay, what does the attribute <laughs> manipulator do? <coughs> the rundown. So if you've not used the attribute manipulator, it's grown in progression since uh, version uh, 11 and it has filled the whole of a lot of macros that have been written in the past and combined them all into one nice, uh, easy to use option. Um, and it just continues to grow as more people want attributes and more people want to do more things with attributes. So, quick little, uh, keep looking at that screen up there, I've got it right here. So you can push uh, strings from a folder structure attribute, like what you see here. I've got a, a string attribute that's ADAC pipe non-pressure diameter millimeters, and then it's got a value, so that's a quite a long path. And some of your GIS system, or most of your GIS systems, uh, can't handle um, uh, long paths. But that's not what this slide's about. This slide's about talking about getting that attribute and then turning it into a string property. Okay, so the string property that it's going to be put into is a pipe diameter. So the diameter in the attribute is in millimetres. So this is if you've gotten data from your GIS system and you're putting it into uh, 12D and you want to uh, get pipe strings. So this is converting the pipe string, uh, sorry, the, the diameter into a, um, into a real pipe. And then you can see there that you've got the ability to factor that attribute there as well. So on to the next one. This is the one that I was talking about where you can um, get ADAC attributes which are in the folder path uh, and quite long paths uh, down into flat level groups. So in this particular case, I'm going out to the biggest GIS system that I know of, which is Google Earth. So I want to be able to put my um, attributes from the big folder path that ADAC stores into a flat level group that I can output into to Google Earth. The other thing I don't want to see in, in Google Earth is um, a value that's to 16 decimal places. So I can set the, uh, the precision there to three decimal places. And then this is a picture of that output through the KML option that 12D has, uh, then into Google Earth. So when I click onto this uh, sewer connection in Google Earth, I get that flat list structure like I mentioned. So it's very handy tool for a lot of different things. Uh, in V14, there's some new things. Um, the names on the item, uh, on the menus have changed because they were a little bit uh, misleading, you think you could do some things to certain elements, like trying to, some people trying to set a pipe diameter to a tri-mesh, that's probably not going to work. So it actually specifies in the rule types what things um, will work with different properties. Um, so you can see there that the attribute has been replaced by this STR, TIN or TRM. So that means that those property, you'll see that they will work for strings, tins, and tri-mesh attributes. Um, the choices for what happens to attributes. So um, when you get data from other packages, it might all be in uppercase or all in lowercase. You might want to swap that around. And so you can uh, change that. Um, and you can also get the global UID, um, which is what uh, Lee was talking about before, a particular space and time. Um, and set that as an attribute. Uh, new string properties, you can get the time that an element was created, updated, the colour of a tri-mesh, surface area of a tri-mesh, and that is all sides, Phil. Where are you? Yep, right. <laughs> um, volume of a closed tri-mesh, and the justification of um, super string pipes. So you can not only get those values, but you can also set that for the... Um, for anything that makes sense there to set it, so more for justification. You can't set the volume of a tri-mesh. Okay, so then you can, uh, new vertex properties, so you can get the color of a water string node. Uh, you can modify the X, Y, and Z by attribute. So um, if you've got an attribute there that says um, the depth um, of a vertex, maybe the depth from the surface level, you can modify the Z value by, by an attribute. 
and uh, of the point. So that's pretty nifty, and you can mod modify the point IDs. Uh, you can get the line style of a segment, so that's a new feature that came out in 12, is being able to set different line styles to different segments, so you can get that. Uh, this is a new one to 14, which is uh, a real time saver and handy, and um, for packages that kind of can't handle attributes, uh, you can have the ability to concatenate attributes um, down into one thing, so you might want to set it to a string name. So you might have a whole bunch of attribute values, and then set that as a string name. So this one here, I've, uh, I'm creating an attribute called new name, and down in the bottom fields where it says default value, in the curly brackets, I put the attribute name that I want. So I've put the attribute there called size that I have already on my string. Then after that, I've just put in some free text in uh, brackets for meters. And then I've also put in free text a little uh, hyphen there as well. Then my next attribute I have is material, then a hyphen, then the SUI class, then a hyphen, position, type, uh, position hyphen, and then type. So then that uh, will create an attribute called new name. And you can see the next rule down here on the left hand side is from an attribute to string name. Uh, the attribute string name to the name of the string and then I just delete that attribute that I made called new string name. So I just set that as a temporary attribute that I can use to set the, the property and then I can delete that name, uh, delete that attribute. So that is uh, some of the new features for attribute manipulator and there's probably more that I may have skipped in the short space of time I have. So that is attribute manipulator done. If you have any questions on that, um, yeah, you can ask me or the programmers are here, so you can ask uh, Ben, who's the programmer for that.